So thanks for being our guest here. Good morning, Leanne. Beautiful environment today, him. Oh, yes. You know, the Natal Midlands is just something spectacular. This rolling hills and the mountain streams. When we grew up, people always said the Scottish Highlands is something yes. special. But let me tell you, the KwaZulu Natal Midlands is right on par. It is. I mean, you, you say that. I was driving here this morning, and that exa- I've never been to Scotland, but that's what I felt like I was doing this morning. So, uh, if not more beautiful, I can just imagine. Um, let's talk about the festive season. Here we are. Schools are breaking up. The holidays days are about to begin. How how have we looked so far this year in terms of tourism? Let's minus the festive season out the equation for now. In terms of international arrivals, another good year for us and we will uh, announce the figures for the first six months uh, later this week. But in terms of domestic tourism, um, we've uh, been a little bit concerned because we haven't seen the growth there and the reason is simple. It's because of the economic downturn, less disposable income, uh, more domestic debt and uh, we're trying to encourage South Africans to travel more and that's why we launched the short left campaign in uh, September and I must say it's being a huge success 7 million hits already we've reached 7 million South Africans and we would like to encourage South Africans to travel more it's not only about enjoying yourself your own well-being spending time with family and friends but in that process you're actually contributing to creating a job for a fellow South African yeah I mean South African tourism here domestically is is you are offered What you're offered here, I'm not sure you can get elsewhere in the world because it's absolutely magnificent in terms of the diversity of tourism. If as a South African living here, touring within your borders, there's so much on offer. Yes, and we have such a variety to offer in terms of affordability. We have backpacking, we have uh, affordable uh, experiences, but obviously there are more luxury categories. So there's a wide variety. But uh, this year we would like to also focus on the non-coastal areas because normally when people think December holidays, they think, well, sun, sea, beach. But uh, there's so much to offer in the non-coastal provinces like we are here in KZN, uh, Midlands this morning, but also uh, the other inland provinces, uh, the rural areas, the countryside. But um, it is not only about that great experience. Last year, this sector, domestic tourism, South Africans contributed over 100 billion rand to our economy. And that's why we would like people uh, to travel and to enjoy their own country as well. And uh, spread the wealth in the country, because I mean, taking it outside, you know, when we look at our currency right now, our currency is not looking good. I, mean, I, I took a, a trip overseas uh, in the middle of this year, and it, it, it truly broke my heart, you know, going and spending money overseas when I could have been doing it here and getting 10 times the joy, to be honest, for the amount of money that I was spending overseas. That's, that's the reality. Yes, it is true. It is so expensive to go overseas, but we can also compete with the best in the world. And that is what the Short Left campaign is all about. It is to convince South Africans that they don't have to go on holiday for a week or two. Well, if they can, that's great. But uh, just take that short left, just a day trip, a weekend away. Take your family with you. And uh, I must say our investment is really a fantastic investment as government because we're getting so much more back into the fiscus than what we, uh, what we are investing. And at the moment, Leanne, You know, people know us as a country of mining, and we will continue to be a mining country. But already our sector, tourism, is uh, providing jobs for more people than the whole of the mining sector. 600,000 South Africans work in our sector. And this December, once again, it is about thousands of our people enjoying themselves, going on holiday. But we would also like to say thank you to the hundreds of thousands of staff that will be working, airline crews, people in restaurants, people in hotels, uh, but also security staff, uh, our policemen and women, people in hospitals, doctors and nurses. So December is a real team effort. How is December looking? I know we we haven't really spoken much about it in terms of, uh, have you spoken to some of the service providers? Are bookings looking good, particularly amongst domestic travellers? Yes, the forward bookings look very good. And I must say... um, the uh, hotel sector is looking up. You know, after the World Cup, we took a little bit of a dip, not because we had less people staying in hotels, but because we built so many new hotels before and during the World Cup period. So there were so many more rooms. And people in the accommodation sector were a little bit worried that's going to be take a long time to recover. But I must say the mood now is much more positive. So they're filling up the hotel rooms and this December will be a major boost once again for them. Good. Good to hear. Minister, thank you very much enjoy this beautiful environment albeit a little bit rainy but it doesn't matter it's not stopping us it never has before thank you it's beautiful <laughs> excellent all right that was the minister of tourism here in south africa martinez van skogveig we're going to